The work from home issue has become more and more prevalent in society. Mm -hmm. Are you starting to stage homes with a office, a with, a, with a, a work from home environment Absolutely. that can showcase yes. that versatility in the home, like are you converting a bedroom into an office? Like, is no. that something that you're no. looking at doing? I think in a list of priorities, showcase as many bedrooms as you can, but we always try to include an office somewhere. And there is usually a place to put an office. Um, but I wouldn't recommend removing a bedroom for an office. But what we are seeing is a lot more usages of the home. So if I can create a purpose for the basement, I would create a gym. I would okay. create a yoga room. We recently did that for a stage. And it really is what people are, are, are it's really going to seal the deal. When, when you have that experience throughout the house. Well, it always sounds like you got to prep your kitchen, your family everything, room and the bedroom. Everything. Now you're going into offices, yeah, basements, basements yeah. anything else? Outdoor, yeah. do you do outdoor? We don't. I put a stop to that this year. It's just a lot of, it's a lot of waste because anything outdoor that ex, that is exposed to the elements, it gets discolored, it gets damaged, and so and it's more clunkier usually. It's, it's heavier. very hard to store. So now we just offer virtual staging for the outside. Okay, so you also do that. Yeah, we do virtual staging as well as retail, and we have an artwork collection, which you're coming to the launch. Well, you do you do sales end of season sales too with some yeah of stuff with some too, of the inventory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talking about virtual staging, mm -hmm. how much has that changed your business as we become more comfortable with virtual mm -hmm. uh, showcasing of properties, uh, floor plans and stuff like that? Is that becoming a bigger part of your business? Well, I think naturally as we're growing, we're seeing more requests for virtual staging. But do I ever think that virtual staging is going to take over physical staging? Absolutely not. Buying real estate is emotional. All the big builders, they create model homes. This restaurant is designed to the nines. Like it is such a drop in the bucket as an investment for physical staging, if you can do it for the return on investment. So I just think it's just not feasible for virtual staging to give that same impact as physical staging. But it's it's definitely a useful tool if, for instance, the, the 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 property is leased. So you know you're likely to make fifteen hundred dollars out of this deal, and you don't mind spending a few hundred on virtual staging. If the property is tenanted, so we can't physically stage because there's a tenant. Well, our software allows us to remove existing furniture and input a designed layout that I would design if I was physically staging. That sounds pretty interesting. It is, and it's fun to do. It's fun to pick and play it, around. It really is. It's fun to just sit and do it virtually. <laughs> now, when you are designing and coming with a color code, is there a, a formula that you use? Is it uh, dependent on the, the, the layout of the home, the lighting? It, what are some of the secrets that you want? Some uses? of the techniques for staging design yeah, or like indiv in just inter in interior design? Staging. We're marketing the house to appeal to as many buyers as possible. So you need it to look as neutral, as big, and as bright as possible. And all our decisions are based around those three objectives. 